21-3. So the genius talents of the 21-3 is endurance, strategic strength, grace, and ease, as well as self-worth, money mastery, and communication. So the mastered expression of the 21-3 is becoming the enduring force of higher purpose and communication. So this ability to endure incorporates not just mental toughness, but a greater wisdom, a greater strength. And the genius talent, the mastery of it is to have that ability, but use it strategically. That's where that strategic strength comes into play. So it's to know when it needs to be used and when it doesn't need to be used. So an example of a mentor for the 21-3 is Viktor Frankl. So Viktor Frankl was a neurologist and psychiatrist during World War II, and he was captured by the Nazis and spent a great deal of time in a Holocaust concentration camp. And he had to endure the atrocities that he experienced there and find different ways to continue sometimes day by day and oftentimes second by second and to keep his his spirit moving forward and not being broken because once it was broken then it was only a matter of time before the body followed another example of this is we see this come through quite a bit in David Goggins work where he's pushing his body to the limits and enduring pain now I want to say this with a, with a caveat as well, is that the resistance pattern is to use this strength so that it's always this ongoing battle. So it doesn't need to be that way. A life of just struggle and having to endure pain is not the goal here. It's having that power to, to use it if it's necessary, but also having the strategic strength to know when there's an easier way. So... I say that with, with David Goggins' work because I definitely see that the endurance of the 21 come three, or excuse me, 21 come through. However, perhaps sometimes it might not be necessary. So I don't want you to fall into the trap of always having to, to endure. It's not the case here. But it is having that inner strength and almost like a tool belt. It's like you have it on your belt. doesn't mean you're using it all the time, but you know when to use it if necessary, but you're not using it all the time. Okay, so an ally to help bring out the 21-3 mastery easier and faster is an ally with the qualities of the 16-7, which is bringing spiritual knowledge into common society. So this helps the 21 to a great deal because enduring things, enduring challenges, especially physical pain, physical limitation, it helps to have a greater depth of spiritual connection and the 16 brings that through and keeps it in everyday language that you can use in the moment okay because a lot of fancy concepts and words doesn't help people when they're suffering and they need to endure moment by moment but when you bring through spiritual knowledge in an applicable practical simplified, tangible, useful way, that's when it becomes a real power step by step. So that's what the 16 helps helps do. Also, someone has the connection, excuse me, the qualities of being heart-based, being authentic, which leads to them being decisive, which leads them to, all those things lead to being magnetic. That helps bring out the qualities of the three. It helps connect the self-worth, those rings, helps connect the self-worth within yourself more easier because this person's authentic and they're connected to their own heart. And as you do that, that helps bring out the communication. And naturally, the, the seven has a, an era of magnetism around them because they're being authentic and communicating and living from their heart. So that helps your communication come through as well through the three. And as the self-worth and communication comes through, then the money mastery follows, okay? So take a look at your counsel and see who has these qualities. 
And if nobody does, keep an eye out for somebody that does.